What's up, guys? Gary Soft Dev. We are doing another CSS battle today, number eleven in or battle one, challenge eleven. I guess is how I would say that. Um, in this one, we've got this like little semicircle here, another semicircle here, and then just some simple stuff in the center here. So the hardest part is going to be these half circles. Um, I'm imagining we just make those as like a square, uh, like an orange square, and then like a another darker square on top of that. And then these circles in the center, those are gonna be easy. So as always, um, let's get the timer up here. And then we're gonna go to our stopwatch and refresh that. And make sure you try to do this before you watch me do it. Um, if you watch me do it and then do it, you're kind of like cheating with the time because you have like an idea of how to do it already. So do it on your own, then come back, watch this and see if we did it the same way, if you had a different way of solving this, let me know in the comments. I'm very, uh, I'd be very interested to see alternative ways to solve this that aren't what I did. But let's get going. All right, one, two, three, go. So let's click on this challenge, get it opened up, uh, and go ahead and delete this stuff like always because that's just useless characters. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab the body and do our usual background and set it to this dark color here. And then we've got that, cool. And how many divs are we gonna need? So we've got, I'm th I can make the, I think I need two divs for each one of these semicircles. So there's like one semicircle, that's the orange one, and then another that's the dark one on top of it. And then the same thing on the left here, just flip-flopped. So we're gonna grab, we need at least four for that. And then we've got a yellow, an orange circle in the center, a darker one on top, and then a red one on top of that. So these three circles in the center, those are gonna be easy to do. Um, we can just go ahead and add the classes for that now. So this is gonna be red, center, circle. And then let's just copy this class stuff and throw that here. And we'll go ahead and throw that class stuff on all of these and then just go back and edit the classes in a sec here. All right, so we got the red circle in the center and then we have a dark center circle. And then we've also got an orange center circle. Cool, and this is gonna be a half circle and that's gonna be, we'll just say left, if I can spell left right, geez. Um, this is gonna be the dark circle, half circle on the left. Uh, we'll copy that. And then I think after we finish this challenge, uh, for the time, we're gonna go back through and refactor it and see how optimized we can get our code. And when I say optimized, I mean like how few characters we can get, because that's what it bases the points on, like how few characters you have in your code. Um, so this is a half circle, that's a half circle, right. That's a half circle right. Um, and then this is gonna be dark orange, dark. And actually the orange needs to be in the back. So we're gonna rearrange those. Cool, so now we have all of the v divs we need. Let's go ahead and get rid of that because I don't think any of that's gonna be reused. Um, well, actually, yeah, there is some stuff we're gonna reuse in the divs position, absolute. Um, I think that might be it though. If we come across any other stuff we can reuse, we'll just abstract it out into that div selector there. So uh, let's grab the orange and just go ahead and give that the background of the orange. And then we got to add our little dot selector there for the class and then paste that and remove that space. Cool, we got that. And then we're gonna do the red one and we need this red color here, background that red color. Um, and you can leave the semicolon off of the last, uh, last thing you're making here. I can't, I'm blanking on the word right now. Um, and still, it'll still work correctly. So we might remove those when we go back to optimize our code or uh, trim down our code and make it smaller. Uh, and then let's we'll also do the dark and that's gonna have the same background color as the body. So we'll just actually stick that on our body class here. Cool. And now I think that's everything for that. So now what do we want to work on first? So let's do this left half circle. So we'll say half circle. And we're going to say put our dot there. The way we're going to do this half circle, they're going to be squares. And we're just going to give the top left and top right a border radius of 100 pixels. So how big do those need to be though? Okay, if that's like 20 pixels high, 30. So we're gonna say it's like 100 pixels. And then the width, we're gonna go with 100 pixels as well. Cause if those are circles, if that's a semicircle, then the height and the width should be the same basically. Um, and then border actually, 
So yeah, we're gonna do the left ones first, then we'll just override the border radius on the right ones. Uh, so what is it, 100 pixels, 100, no, nope, no, 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 because top left is not gonna have a border radius, top right's not gonna have a border radius, and then 100 pixels, 100 pixels, I think. And then why are our divs not showing up? There's an extra space there. Let's remove that and that. Um, body, dark, div, orange, da, 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 height, left, zero, right, or er, interesting. So half circle, right? We've got, oh, wait, spelt that wrong, oops. So let's grab that and that and that and that. And our 100 pixels is too much. So the height, I guess, should be 50 pixels. Cause yeah, cause we're cutting off part of that. Okay, that makes sense. Um, left does not really need to be zero, does it? What is that supposed to be? Let's get our measuring tool and then measure that. So we're 50, 50 pixels away from the side. So left is gonna be 50 pixels. Cool, we got that. And then um, we need to make the dark half circle smaller. So that one's height is going to be, well, let's just say 25 pixels and see how this works. And then width is, is gonna, gonna be 50 pixels maybe? Uh, no, maybe like 75 pixels. Is that, um, maybe that's 30 or 40? If we center that, I think that might look right. So let's do left, um, what? 60, 70, 70 pixels, 60 pixels, 65 pixels. Okay, so getting the positioning right on this might be a little bit of a challenge. How far away? Okay, if that's 20 pixels, 50, 50, 60, 70. So left should be 70 pixels on this. And we've just got our sizing off, I think. Well, let's go ahead and add the top so we can get that kind of in the right position and then compare it to the other image and see how we do with that. So that is what, 150 pixels from the top. So this is gonna be 150 pixels from the top, which actually we can just stick that on here and then we'll override it for the right side. Nope, nope, top. Oh, I clicked insert, don't do that. All right, so that's kind of, okay, yeah, our orange semicircle, it's the background is looking right. It's just the width on that dark one. So width on this is 60 maybe. Um, cool, I think the width's a little off. So maybe is it 65? It's not 65, the height too, maybe 30 pixels. Okay, that height looks right. Now it's just the width. So maybe it is 60, 30 and 60. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool, that looks good. So we got our first left circle. So now we just need to override the stuff for the right one. Um, what is the most efficient way to do this? Should I just actually just rotate them? Just like do get the right side and transform rotate or uh, yeah, I think I'll do the right and transform rotate that. Let's put the left above this cause we are working on that first and just, I want the that order. I just like it in that order. So we're gonna stick in that order. Uh, now let's do half circle and then right is going to be right 50 pixels, left zero. Um, hmm, maybe not. Oh wait, left initial, because we want it to have, um, like initial is going to set it to its initial value and since left does not have an initial value, it's basically like undefined kinda. So there's no value there. And then when we do, when we do right 50, it just sticks on the right here. So now we gotta do the dark half circle right. And we'll just say right is going to be the same as left, so 70, Pixels, um, left is going to be initial here as well. Cool, and then now we just need to transform, rotate that um, on both of those. What is that, like uh, 180 degrees, right? Eh, maybe this isn't gonna work like I thought it would, cause it's not, I'm just, I'll just have to adjust the top. Yeah, that'll work, I think. And then the bottom, maybe? Okay, this might not work like I thought it would actually. Cause bottom is going to put it yeah, let's just not do that. And we'll grab the right side and do border radius. Um, it's gonna be 100 pixels, 100 pixels, zero, zero. There we go. And then we got rid of that transform rotate, right? All right, cool. 
Um, but that looks the same as like it had transform. I didn't, I just, huh. It's not the way I expect that to, I guess, yeah, because the top on both of those, okay, that makes sense. The top on both of those is still 150. Uh, so we just need to adjust that. So dark half circle, what is the top gonna be? Let's use our measuring tool here and that's 100 pixels from the top. So top 100 pixels um, and then dark half circles top is going to be 120 pixels, um, except that needs to be on the dark half circle right. So we'll make a new selector here, dark half circle right. There we go, that looks better. Now we just are on to the circles in the center and those shouldn't be too hard at all. So um, center orange. So we're grabbing that circle. What is the height on that gonna be? Ooh, so is it, okay, actually, if that's uh, 80 pixels from the top, 80 from the bottom, this whole thing is 300, so 816. So it's like, what, 140 height? And then it's a circle, so width is also, should also be 140 pixels. Um, and then left zero, right zero, margin auto. We're gonna extract that out later because all three of the center circles are gonna have that. Or actually we can just target center and then throw that on there. And then we'll just override that later. Um, what's that orange? Cool. So now my circle is not showing up and it's not showing up because, should I spell stuff wrong? Center circle, orange, center circle, um, center. I spelled center wrong, right? Yeah. There we go, and there's still circles. Uh-oh, go away stuff. Oh yeah, we need our border radius. It's gonna be 100 pixels on that all around, and then top is going to be 80 pixels. Sweet, so now we got that. So it's red because we've got our red, orange, and black um, dark one all the same size. So now we're gonna do center dark, height zero pixels, because I don't, I'm not gonna be able to see that until we get the red one. And then we're gonna do center red it is going to be height of what, 50 pixels? Width of 50 pixels, that looks appropriate. And then top is going to be, what's top on the other one? 80. So if they're each 20 pixels, uh, so two, four, so 80, four, eight, 12, 120 pixels, right? Cool, uh, that doesn't look right. 50 by 50, right? Yeah, we got height and width 50 by 50. Um, am I off? Is it 30? Because that's 80 and that's 20, 90, 100, 110, 100. Oh, that's more than, okay, that's 25. That's why I gotcha. So that's five. Now it's centered. There we go. Now we're going to go back and do this one. And this is probably like, if the other one's 140 um, and there's 25 pixels different, right? So like 115, my math's probably off on that. I'm not... Uh, let's check the width and do 115 pixels and then top um, 80, 90, 100 pixels. That looks too much, right? So what is that? Uh, 25 plus 50 plus another 25 is 100. So the height and width are 100. Come on, Garrett, math stuff. Boom, perfect though. All right, let's uh, submit this and see what our score is. Or we gotta stop the time, right? 13 minutes, all right, cool. So if you beat 13 minutes, let me know in the comments below. Um, now we're gonna go back through and optimize this real quick because I feel like there's a lot of stuff we can do to make this better. Uh, the first thing I would do, cause like the way it gives you points is like how many characters you use, which is kind of dumb, mm, but that's the game we gotta play. So we'll do H, C, We'll just have the classes be like one letter instead of all of them. And that'll boost our score a lot. So let's just remove all these. And then for the center ones, we're just gonna do CC for center circle. And then the half circles are just gonna be HC. And then L will just be L, right? We'll just be R, cool. And then we just need to go through and adjust our classes and make sure everything looks the same still. HC, and then this will just be D, HC, oops, one C, and that'll be D, HC, 
R. What are we doing for this? We're doing CC for center circle, right? So CC and then D. You have to kind of, it's kind of harder to think about this when they're just single letters. Um, I feel like I didn't grab something right. I didn't convert something right. What I messed up. Uh, it's the right side, right? So R, the dark. Oh, right, red. So that just needs to be RD. And then here, that'll be RD. No. Which one of these is supposed to be RD? Nope. The center one. There we go. Boom. All right, cool. We have successfully shortened our classes by a lot. Uh, then we can remove the last semicolon on these, which I accidentally already left off on a lot of these, I think. Just kidding. I did that on purpose. That was intentional. Yeah. I knew I was going to have to go back and remove these, so I, I did that on purpose. And then another thing we can do is we can switch these to P tags. Uh, shout out to Met for pointing that out to me. Because P is shorter than div. So we just want to use the shortest tag available and we can just change that to P. Apparently P and divs. Oh wait. Let's inspect that because I don't want to. It's just easy to inspect it. And just dig in and see why versus playing around with it in our CSS. Uh, so that is the image of what it's supposed to be, right? Where's our div? So that's our div. I'm going to expand this a little bit, close these updates, and dig down to this iframe here the document, the HTML, the body. Uh, all right, so I think we want this one, right? So the top is 150, except it needs to be what? Like. 40. Why did that change when we switched those to P's? That's P absolute. Um, because I'm not grabbing a div anywhere else. Let's just bring this to 30, and then is that the right position? Not quite. It's still a little off. Huh. Interesting. 35? That's still like one pixel off. Four? That's interesting. Why is that? Because P tags are still display block. Hmm. If anyone knows why that's happening, I don't know. So 134. Uh, I wish the other one were using top. So that, what if we make that like 110 on that? And then the other top here, that's the right, right? So 110. No, that's the wrong way. Uh, we're going to do 90 is still a little low, right? So we need to try 10 pixels less to 80 and then a hundred on that. Does that, so now it's too high, I think. So if we do 105 and 85, and then that's still one pixel off. So I think it's the low side. So it's just that's a four. There we go. Yeah, um, somebody knows why that's happening. What am I missing? Let me know, I haven't eaten yet today. So I don't know why that's happening, that's weird. But now, so we got 600 now, let's submit our score. And it's still 600, what? 600.2? What was our character count before? Huh, I feel like we reduced a lot of characters in that. There we go. Um, so this is the six, the 12, yeah, six minutes ago. We cut out 200 characters and it's still the same. It only improved by 0.2, huh? I need to look into more about why, about how, it, I need to play around with that more and see how that calculates it. If we just remove all these spaces, does that boost us up like another, does it weight the style section more maybe? And then submit. Okay. Huh. I imagined it was going to be like each character is like one point, but it doesn't appear like it's that way. Um, and I, there's another space we can remove, but let's just, that's probably not even going to bring us up any. Yeah, still the same score. But I think that's about as much as we're going to try and optimize this because we're already at 20 minutes on one challenge. So, yeah. If you beat 13 minutes, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you want to guys, if you guys want to be friends on here, I think my I think my name is Ghughes13. If you guys want to be friends on here, um, and we can kind of like challenge each other. Um, 
If you want to get my resume template, the one I used before I had my first tech job when I was when I just had projects on there, um, look in the description. I'll have a link to where you can go to get that. And come hop in Discord if you want to come talk tech with me or any of the other devs in there. I think that's about it for this one, though. So I will see you guys next time. Peace.